Good afternoon, everyone. Evening, I guess. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 8-box OPS basketball mixer featuring O, optic, P, prism, and S. <laughs> OSP? It's OPS. Uh, basketball mixer featuring all of these boxes right here. Bunch of nice boxes. And featuring these people right here who are in this break. And all the teams. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Four and a six, ten times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got Yi Ji Zhang down to Benjamin Butler. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got the Houston Rockets down to the Utah Jazz. All right, Yiji Zhang with the Rockets, Jesse with the Grizz, Stephen K with the Pelicans, Clay with the Spurs, Tony with the Hawks, Ray with the Raptors, Joe Russell with the Thunder. We get Russell Westbrook, David Bruins, T Wolves, Stephen Rushing with the Nets, Quack, you got the Celtics, Tony Barkey with the Cavs, Robert K with the Warriors, Adam K, AK with the Pistons and the Mavs, Arthur, AP with the Clip Show, Tian Yu, you have the Trailblazers, Chris Parent with the Magic, Eric Bailey with the Bucks, Jeremy with the Wizards, you're a wizard, Jeremy, Dwayne with the Suns, Ryan L with the Hornets, Greg, Last Spot Mojo, 76ers, Garrett Kerr with the Nuggets, John Samuelson, Kings, Barry with the Knicks, Jeremy with the Heat, Jerry with the Pacers, Rich with my Lakers and the Bulls, and Ben Butler with the Jazz. Let's alphabetize this by column B. Ray has the Raptors up for trade if anybody's interested in Toronto. And here are all the boxes right here. I think I saw, yeah, there's another another set of boxes set aside. So I think we could run this mixer back. So we'll, we'll probably, post, probably post it again. Clippers for Raptors maybe? Suns are up for trade. Clippers for Suns. Dwayne says no. Rich wondering if Tony is here. Raptors for Nets. Pelicans. Williams asking if anyone's selling a team. If someone does end up selling a team, remember, um, it'll still be shipped to the original person on the list, and then you guys can complete the transaction on the other side. All right, no thank you, says Ray. Or um, no thanks to Steven. To Ray. All right, trade window going once, trade window going twice. Lakers Bulls for Atlanta, if anybody's interested in that. Lakers Bulls, two for one. <coughs> I don't know if Tony's here, Rich. Yeah, I don't think he's... Sorry, Rich. All right, TWC, trade window closed. All 
All right, let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everyone. Um, about a moments before we started this break, breaking news: Magic Johnson stepping down as Lakers president. It's pretty crazy. I thought he'd try to stick around at least another off season, but I guess he he did self-impose a sort of a time limit. He was just like, hey, if the Lakers don't do X, Y, Z by the, the X years, you know, then I'll, I'll, I'll step down. He said, so he's stepping down. So we'll see. Although, yeah, I mean, resign could just mean another word for fired. And they're just like, well, let's make it sound good. <laughs> Magic Johnson can, so Magic Johnson can save face or he leaves. Well, at this point, let's, you know, Let's let's move. Uh, at this point, let's move. Uh, let's move Rob Palinka as well. Get him out of here. So that's the big hoops news happening. A lot of games in progress. Not sure what the playoff implications are for some of these final games here, but what are the playoff implications for these some of these final games? I think if the Pistons win, and they're up by four with 19 seconds left, I think the Pistons are in, right? I don't think the Heat have a shot. I think they need the Pistons to lose. Is Charlotte playing tonight? Charlotte needs the Pistons to lose. I think it's the it's a win and in situation. Seems like a win and in situation for the. Detroit Pistons. Looks like the Magic are in, and uh, and the so so are the Nets. guys really quick got to open up packs open up packs and the pistons win 100 to 93 so the pistons are in then And the Celtics uh, just beat the Wizards 116 to 110. So I think that uh, I don't think that changes their seeding at all. I think they're going to be still in, sitting in that four seed. Can the Pacers change anything? I don't. I don't know if they can. Ray needs some of that try to trade, couldn't trade mojo with the Raptors. I did like that championship game last night. Um, I think it was kind of exciting. That seeing some good defense was exciting. Seeing a game go to overtime as a neutral fan is always exciting. I had financial interest on the over and Virginia, so I got both, which was nice. So that was a lot of fun. But everyone, the, the win total was like 118, 118 point, or the win total. The point total was 118. Everyone's saying under on that. It seemed awfully low. I think, if anything, it had a good chance to go to OT. I, I actually told Nick that, but I didn't put any financial, I didn't have any financial interest on the game going to overtime.
Maybe if Texas Tech had Patrick Mahomes playing uh, playing out there. Everyone see that Patrick Mahomes basketball video? And after it went viral, like the Chiefs were like, you were never playing basketball again. Adam's in the house. Ray saying, let's run some of those jerseys. Yeah, I'm down. Those jerseys are always fun. All right, here we go. There's Gerald Green. Green. Remember, these are not numbered, so we're kind of breezing by these. Frank Kaminsky. He was too busy. Mahomes was too busy flexing in the stands to play. I think they should have gotten him out there. There's emergent Luka Doncic. We'll have our team top load those before they go out. That's right, Pat. That's right, Gilo. Patrick Mahomes didn't get the ball in OT again, and his team lost. Um, the silver Curix. Yeah, I know. Do we need to save those? Those will ship. I'm basically only, only pulling out Luka Doncic's. I guess we'll save one of these DeAndre Ayton's too. But that ref that silver will ship though. So whoever the Nets is will get it. I mean, at this point, if this is a new release day, maybe I'd slide those aside. But. And Wade Baldwin the fourth, an autograph. Nice one. Tian Yu Zhang with the Trailblazers. Now these red, white, and blue parallels are exclusive to this set. Howie Kendrick still playing? through these guys here. All right, what should we do next? I just wanted to get that one out of the way. That was a little more... How, how far back are we going? 1617 might be the oldest one here. Yeah, let's go back in time to 1617. There's Magic Johnson, who just stepped down from the Lakers front office. The Athletic had, had written a pretty, with like multiple sources and multiple writers, had put together a pretty uh, damning story on, on just the, on the folly that was the Lakers season. So no more Magic Johnson. Probably no more Luke Walton. You may as well, may as well move Rob Polinka out of there too. 
And then maybe try to get some free agents in. I don't know, but I think, was it EO someone was saying earlier? Or Eric Bailey, sorry, different Eric. Eric Bailey was saying, I have a feeling that a lot of superstars don't want to play on the same team as LeBron. Maybe Kyrie Bailey is saying, that's about it. That's part of the problem, right? I mean, unless... Unless you're buddies with LeBron, right? Dwayne Wade, you know? Yeah, I don't know what the Lakers are going to do in the offseason. They're not going to get KD. Look, he's, he seems like he's going to the Knicks. Doesn't really seem like... Uh, I mean, is... Is Kyrie really going to come to the Lakers? I, that might not be. I don't know if that's going to happen. Clay Thompson is going to stay in. Uh, Clay Thompson is going to stay in in Golden State. He might take less money to stay in Golden State. There's Jonas Valanciunas for the Raptors die cut for Ray. Twenty nine out of ninety nine. And then we got Contavious Caldwell Pope. For the Pistons. Is Kawhi gonna go to the Lakers? He might stay with might stay with the Raptors. There's KCP out of ninety nine. Is that jersey number out of ninety nine? Five out of ninety nine jersey number. What day is it? Adam Kelly with that. Must be opposite day. And a one of one? Wow. One of one of Kuzminskas. Isn't that a isn't that Porzingis' buddy that he recruited to be on the Knicks? What's his story now? So that goes to New York Barry Swisher. With the Knicks gets the one of one. And then all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! There's, thank you, Richard. There's Bryce Johnson, Monta Ellis, and Kevin Love. LeBron got Kevin Love to play with him, right? Or, no, I mean, he was more of a trade, but. Gorgi Ding to 149. Jeremy Lamb for the Hornets. The Hornets are just going to miss the playoffs. All right, next box. All right, now what should we do? 16, 17, select. Should we go to 17, 18, Donner's Optic? Here's 17, 18, Donner's Optic. And I think we have one more Donner's Optic. Here's 17, 18, Fast Break. This one's 17, 18, right? Yeah, so we'll do these two. We're looking for one auto per box on average. So your hoop scores of the day, Hornets beat the Cavs 124 to 97. And um, Celtics beat the Wizards 116 to 110. Pistons beat the Grizz 193. 
at the end of the some other games in progress here. At the end of the third quarter, Heat up on the Sixers, 91 to 60. I think the Heat are going to miss the playoffs. Knicks leading 74 to 63 over the Bulls. Bulls keeping the tanking going. Raptors tuning up for the playoffs. They're leading 95 to 74 in the third quarter on the Raptors or on the Timberwolves. That is Raptors over the Timberwolves. Warriors up by one on the Pelicans in the third quarter, 78-77. Mavs at home, 65 to 36. They're leading the Suns. Two minutes left in the first half. Jazz 27-21, leading the Nuggets in the start of the second quarter. So the Heat are officially eliminated. Would that Pistons win? I think that's how it goes, right? Rockets Thunder on TNT later tonight. And uh, Trailblazers Lakers later tonight. Sands Magic Johnson. That'll be an interesting broadcast to watch. Good luck, everybody. Here's the next box. And we got Ivan Rab. Is your fast break autograph? Oh, they updated the standings now? I was kind of refreshing the page there. Okay, so yeah, the Miami Heat are officially. So it's just the Pistons and the Charlotte Hornets left. There's Steph Curry red to 85. So Ryan Sullivan is saying if the Knicks beat Detroit and the Hornets win tomorrow, Charlotte then becomes the eighth seed. All right, so it's coming down to the wire for the Pistons and the Hornets. Which would set up a either Detroit or Piston versus the Bucks matchup, right? That eighth seed. There's Clippers edition of DeAndre Jordan. That fast break auto goes to Jesse and the uh, and the uh, Mavs. By the way, there's DeAndre Jordan 150. There's Chris Paul Rockets edition to 193. And we're going to stay in 1718. This is Donner's Optic now. So is it the is it the Knicks we're going to end up with the with the best possibility to get the number 1 spot? Yeah, they got 16 wins. They're 16 and 64 right now with one more to go. Oof. Suns have 19 wins. And the Cavs have 19 wins. It's going to be one of those two teams. It's going to end up with a... Uh, with Zion? Is Zion number one? So everyone seems to be saying that Kevin Durant is going to be in New York. So are we talking Kevin Durant in New York, possibly teaming up with Kyrie and Zion Williamson if they get that number one pick? Well, I mean, what kind of what, what kind of team are we looking at there? Let's go to their depth chart. And you still have you still have a Kevin Knox there, right? You still have an Alonzo Trier there. You still have a Dennis Smith Jr. there. So 
still got a Mitchell Robinson big man there. That's interesting. So, I don't know. That'll be that'll be a very interesting team if the Knicks can 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 pull that off. And if the Bulls grab Ja Morant, Bulls Ja Morant, Laurie Markinen, Wendell Carter Jr. All right, that can be an interesting team too. Joe Babcock, what's going on? There's Deer and Fox. There's Ben Simmons. Green to 175. There's Andre Drummond to 199. And you still have. You would still have, I think, Otto Porter Jr. on the team. You would still have you would still have Zach Levine on that team, Chris Dunn on that team. Those are some solid players too. Grant Hill to one seventy five. And Ch Chicago can lure in the next year or two, in the near future, could lure a, a future free agent or two. They've got that kind of clout. There's Jordan Clarkson to 99. And there's Rick Fox. Nice. Signature series for my Lakers. Rich Schmidt with the Lakers. All right, another box in the books. All right, what should we do next? Should we go into, I think it's just 1819 left, right? That's 1819. That's 1819. That's 1819. That's 1819. That's 1819. So let's do, we'll do these two prisms first. Then we'll do that Donner Softer. We'll close out with 1819 Select Basketball. We'll do this little guy first, though. How's the how's the West look? Are the are is seating all set for the West? I think it looks. I'm just glancing at the standings right now. It seems like Golden State's up by three games on the Nuggets, so they have the one seed. I guess the Rockets could try to slip into that second seed, maybe. I think the Trailblazers are pretty much set at four. So are the Jazz. So are the Thunder. Or I guess the Thunder would want to win. Otherwise, a Spurs win could kind of put them ahead a spot. Clippers have incentive too. So that six, six, seven, eight spot could see some changes. And two and three could see some changes. Jeremy S., what's going on? Yeah, you, you had Virginia, right? We're, we're, we're going to be sending out all that stuff uh, this week over the next couple of days. Nice. Yeah, Jeremy S., congrats to you. He had Virginia. They won the championship last night. So he won that opulence box from that March Madness break that we had sold a little while back. There's Steph Curry. And there's Chandler Hutchinson, sensational swatches. Four dub bulls. That'll be for Rich Schmidt and the bulls. I think for the second place uh, winner...
Where is Texas Tech? Oh, Yaroslav, you already got your, um, you should have your, uh, your break credit on, in your email already. All right, let's stay with the prism right here. There it is. Oh, Ryan Els is like, hey, I was just picking up your some some of his buddy Bud Light. Did you miss anything good? Yeah, tons of things. You can never miss a moment. Just have it. Uh, just have that delivered to you. <laughs> nice, Jeremy. Yeah, well, that that's kind of the that was kind of the hope. Jeremy's like, I don't even watch college basketball and was on the edge of my seat the entire game. Yeah, we'll have that box, that box of opulence sent out to you in the next couple of days. That's kind of the idea with those little promos that we do. You can try to win some stuff. You know, you can try to win some stuff and you, you're going to be interested in a game that you may not have been interested in at all. We did that with the World Cup not too long ago, you know. And so it kind of, kind of gets people interested in, in rooting for the team they wouldn't maybe originally never consider rooting for. But yeah, that makes it a lot of fun. Glad you, glad you were watching it too and you're having fun with it. It's the whole idea. We're all sports fans uh, at the core of our collecting because we're sports fans and so it keeps things fun. And it'll be shipped to you sealed, Jeremy. So it'll you could open it if you want to. You could sell it if you want to. All up to you. Nice, <laughs> Jeremy S was like he told work, hey. Don't bother me. I'm trying to watch the game here. Got a, I have a box of opulence on the line. All right, next box. This is 18. We're now all in 1819. And once again, we have another version of this I think we're going to be posting, so keep an eye out for that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Maybe up, uh, up on the site already. You step down, folks. That's the, that's the break, big breaking basketball news of the day. Is Aaron Holiday? See ya. Got Bill Walton dominance. His son may be fired too. And there's Kevin Huter. Nice. A lot of Hawks. It's a good one for Tony Barkey. I think the uh, the Hawks could be a really interesting team next year, right? There's Buddy Healed. Kings could be interesting next year too. If the Hawks or the uh, or the Kings, if they can snag like a decent free agent to be on that team, it could be very interesting. It could be very interesting for them. And Whit Merrifield has the longest hit streak in Royals history. All right, let's do this one first, then we'll close out with 1819 Select Basketball. And still has wheels. Hey, 
Can't wait for the basketball playoffs to start, folks. This final week has just, just kind of been like purgatory. Nothing's really happening. You know, people are battling for seeds and final playoff spots, but it's just kind of the very tail end of all that. So I'm just like, all right, hurry up. Let's get to some playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs? I'm talking about playoffs? Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Let's save one of those Luka Doncic's and Black Velocity Jerome Robinson to 39. Nice. Kevin Knox to 199. And Hall Dominator, uh, Tom Heinsohn is your autograph. Quack Tran with the old school Celtic. 21 out of 40 on that one. There's Marcin Gortat for the Clippers to 199. Nikola Vucevic to 99. That'll be an interesting team to see in the playoffs. They've uh, they've uh, they've they've killed a couple Giants this season. They're giant killers, maybe. In the regular season, they've beat some big teams. I'm not. I'm not sure if they can do that over a seven-game series. It's possible that we'll find out. All right, final box coming up, and that'll be 18-19. Select basketball. So three hits to close things out. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what this final box has for us. Early autograph. Yes. Hamadou Diallo. Nice. Your dunk contest winner. A high flyer going to Joseph Russell and the OKC Thunder. 177 out of 199. Porzingis on the Mavs that, with Doncic. They could make some noise next season. There's Monty Morris to 199 for the Nuggets. There's Lonnie Walker, the fourth die cut to 249.
158 out of 249. There's Luka Doncic. There's Julius Randle, 44 out of 99. Throwback memorabilia. You can come back, Julius Randle. D'Angelo Russell back, too. D'Angelo Russell, Julius Randle back. With Kyle Kuzma. Lonzo. Brandon Ingram and LeBron. Bring it on back. Lakers for Rich. And Troy Brown Jr. Draft selections out of 10. Nice. One out of 10 on that one for the Wizards. Jeremy Merle with the Wizards. Nice, Jeremy S. saying Magic are the hottest team right now. They've won 20 of their last 29. I didn't realize that. They've beat, they've beat some pretty big teams, too. That could, that could be a really, you know, if you don't pay attention, that could, that could be a team that could, that could suddenly, you know, take a series to like six or seven games when you didn't want it to go six, seven games. There's Omari Spellman die cut. And that'll be for Tony and the Hawks, Tony Hawks. 39 out of 99. And there's Vucevic right there, big part of that magic team. And that's it, folks. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got another, this is a pretty solid, solid mixer right here, folks. We've got another one of these uh, in the store soon, I think. Should be coming up in the store at some point. It's available now, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We can run it back tonight if you want to. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.